today. I am thrilled to be joined by Teresa Caragol and Jessica Baker, respectively founder and CEO and Chief Program Officer of Achieve Unite. Teresa and Jessica, thanks so much for joining us. Let's jump right in. Um, Teresa, Jessica, tell us a little bit about Achieve Unite. Go ahead, Jessica. Let me hear the spiel <laughs> for Achieve Unite. Achieve Unite is a partnering success company. So we work with companies in the high tech sector, helping them when it comes to their strategy with a go to market that includes indirect channels and partnerships. So we all grew up in the tech industry and in this channel, um, I guess, world that we all live in. And so we work with companies to advise them on the best routes to market, the types of partnerships, and we also educate and do a lot of thought leadership around that as well. Awesome. Yeah, and awesome. our philosophy is the hard skills of partnering are as important as the soft skills of partnering. And so you may hear us talk about PQI, your EQ, your IQ, this is your partnering quotient and your ability to build trust. And we have a whole suite of leadership programs and trust building programs to help that because in this next era of partnering, it's gonna be way more important than maybe it was in the last 10 years. Gotcha, and why is that? Well, for multiple reasons. One, we have a very diverse workforce, right? We have ages, we have the Kiras from your organization at 20, and we have 75 and 80 year olds in the workforce, and they're from all different backgrounds. And we have Singapore and the UK and Latino and Spanish and African American all on our team. And so how do we be the best partners and help other clients really harness the power of their whole workforce? Great. Give us a sense of some of your clients, just so we can visualize that. So we do business with a number of the big household names in the tech industry. You know, think about F5, think about Verizon, think about, you know, very large uh, tech clients. And we also are increasingly expanding beyond tech because partnering goes beyond tech. But what we find is that the tech industry really leads this space like nobody else. And yeah. other than healthcare, healthcare, I, I see it's quite advanced as well. Gotcha. Gotcha. And give us a little sense of your background in terms of how you got to forming Achieve Unite. Go ahead, Jess. So uh, a lot of us here at Achieve Unite, Teresa and I included, have grown up in high tech and grow up in the channels and have several decades of running channel programs and um, and partnerships for huge global billion dollar companies, right? We also have a lot of experience working with smaller companies. Some of us are more with telecom or hardware and others are more geared towards software and SaaS products. So the team represents about every category you can think of in the tech space. Uh, I've been doing this for many decades and um, so has Teresa. And so we got together about seven years ago and decided that we should probably have a company that helped lots and lots of companies do their best when it comes to a go-to-market uh, with partners and channels. Anything you okay. want to add to that, Teresa? Oh, I always love to bring Bob O'Malley. He's sort of one of our, God. we have a couple of godfathers of channel that have been in here and have been amazing mentors for um, both of us. And uh, so Ron Rohner and Bob O'Malley are two of the godfathers of this space that have been really involved in helping us grow the company. Gotcha. And give, give us a sense of what your team looks like. How many people um, are they, uh, are, do you, are you guys all working together in the same office, uh, remote, et cetera? No, we were a completely virtual company well before COVID. So when we started this organization, we started with the intent that people could work from anywhere. We were became Zoomers before Zoom was ever even a thing in 2016 and 17. Um, and so we really built the company as a virtual company. We modeled ourselves after GitLab so that you can really create trust. You can build deep relationships without having to be face-to-face. -face. And that is a core thread of our organization, we're very high in collaboration, sometimes too high in collaboration. I'm actually trying to cut down the amount of collaboration and get to more results faster. So, you know, there's an Achilles heel of that sometimes as well. Right. Um, and then we have, you know, just an amazing team of people. Uh, common thing is low ego. 
common thing is high, you know, high value for the whole, not the individual parts. Um, yeah, it's amazing. We're very blessed. And about how many people on the team? We have about 20 folks spread across the U.S. Um, now in the U.K., we've just added a person in uh, Singapore. And we, people are spread between full-time, some part-time, and work better now folks are awesome and are doing a great job for us. Awesome. We'll come back to them in a, in a, in a few minutes. Uh, Teresa, what do you consider your role to be and, and how, do you, how do you two work together, you know, Jessica, your role as, as chief program officer? Well, Jessica is like my right hand or my left hand or my heart, whatever the day is. Um, so we are in sync and almost like a yin and a yang and we, have, we really play off each other really well. Um, you know, my role increasingly is to work on the business, not always in the business, which is really hard for a small business CEO. Thank you, Rob Levin. Um, but I'm really working on that and we're making some great strides for taking our next um, kind of growth as an organization. Gotcha. And Jeff, yeah, and if I'm, if, if I'm Teresa's right arm, then she's my left arm. Uh, we definitely do work really well together. Um, I tend to go across the consulting engagements that we do with um, pretty much all of our clients. So making sure that we are have a keen eye to the customer experience and that everybody is satisfied and all of our projects are running on time and in the expectations with our clients. I also lead some engagements as well. So, you know, you can't just run the business, you have to be in the business in where I am, but we definitely work uh, hand in hand together. I don't know that there's a day that goes by that we don't talk. That's very rare. Um, so we do, we do communicate um, um, very often and very frequently. Gotcha. So at, at Work Better Now, we believe that how you do things is just as important as what you do. What are some of the things that Achieve Unite does very well in terms of how it works. You mentioned the, like the customer experience. Mm -hmm. um, you talked about how things are changing with how you're looking at collaboration. Can you tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about some of those, you know, things that you've refined over the years that you, you do really well? Yeah, I'll start. And then Jess can talk more about um, some of the things that she's really made an impact on. I mean, it, to me, it all, it starts with a core set of values and the clients are at the heart of everything we do. And our goal is to make our clients heroes. I mean, like that is deep in who we are and what we stand for. You know, we use the analogy, I like the Tiffany experience. So I want to provide a top shelf Tiffany experience for our clients and everyone that is on the team feels that way and is passionate about that kind of an experience. I think we've done a really good job over the last couple of years of improving our systems for collaboration. I think Jess can talk to you about some of those. Um, and then the, the other thing I would say is we really value, it doesn't matter if you're 20 something or you're 75 or you're somewhere in between, everybody has something amazing to bring. And I think we're really good at bringing the individuals, but then also putting the teams together. And that is something that has made a big impact for our clients because Jess alone, she's awesome. She's even more awesome when three people are surrounding her and we're bringing the best of that whole thing to a client. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think that I would add to that by saying, you know, with every engagement we do with every um, event that we do, every initiative that we have, I think we get smarter. And so we are always looking for ways to improve and, whether it's, you know, having a, a format that's strong that we know that works and we repeat that over and over again, or if we're trying something new and kind of learning along the way and then refining that process until we get it to the point where we can standardize, that helps to also control the quality that we are giving to our clients when we know that we've iterated to the point where it's solid and it rocks the client experience every time we know we want to repeat that. So after all these years of, of doing similar things with clients, we're able to kind of weave that back into how we engage so that we know what our individual best practices are. And some of them, like Teresa said, are, you know, not doing it alone, but making sure you have the team that it has all of the strengths that you need and collaborating together. So we do have some systems in place that help us do that, whether it's, you know, document management or project management and things like that. Uh, it helps us just to be a better, more collaborative team 
and we get better at that every day. Right. So, you know, I, I, there's a couple of things that I heard. I, I heard starting with values, which so many companies uh, skip that step. And it, I don't know how they, they, they get by. You know, you talked about making your clients heroes, an incredible client experience. And the other thing I heard was, I don't know if you use these words, but continuous improvement. Mm -hmm. How do you, so you, you're on the lookout for always improving. How do you implement that? How do you say, okay, we just learned, you know, such and such thing will make our clients heroes or, or bigger heroes or will improve the client experience. How do you roll that out and then kind of standardize it, you know, with your team who, who are comprised of bright people that you, that you obviously trust? I mean, we use Slack. We use team calls, we use ClickUp, we, we use some really good leading edge apps that have helped us deepen that collaboration. We use a client and product structure. And so, it, so you know, you have product owners and you have client owners, and I think that also is helping. And then your team, there's several folks who run across the organization, marketing, um, the Work Better Now folks. And so they also help to connect dots. And I think that's really important as well. Let's yeah. let's go ahead, Jessica. Yeah, I was just going to say some of the the things that we can learn and bake into our engagement templates. Those are our easy ways to make sure that we're always collecting those best practices and putting them into play. So, um, you know, the Kiras that we'll refer to um, our our masters is at that as well. So we can take a, when we close an engagement and we take a feedback session and we say, all right, what do we learn? What can we do better? Uh, those types of things, but they can then just go and integrate those extra steps or those notes or whatever in our engagement templates. And now we know that we have something better than what we started with. Gotcha. So let's, let's talk about your WBN assistance. So just for everybody listening, I, I, I got thrown off a little in the beginning as well. You have two assistants named Kira, one with an I, one with a Y. Do, <laughs> yes, what, yes. what are their, let's start with, what are their, what are their titles? They are uh, project managers, executive assistants. Um, we call them the, the masters of everything. They're absolutely <laughs> amazing. And um Kira with an I is the one who's most closely related to me and, and my business. And I don't think that I've been able to give her anything yet that she hasn't been able to not just do, but master beyond what I, what I know and do. She's incredible in terms of uh, being very proactive. And every time I think that I, I've forgotten something and I check in with her, she's already thought about it and done it and it's it's complete and I don't have to uh, worry about it she's just incredibly thorough in her thoughts and um, follows through on everything that we give her yeah and KY um, who supports our education and skills development business she also supports me <laughs> which is no easy feat and she does great with it by the way um, she is she sends an email to people and she makes them feel fabulous and she's so caring and takes such great pride in, you know, the diligence and the details and also the, the how along the way. So I just Rob really credit you guys with the training and the development that you're doing to, um, to invest in these people. I think it really helps provide a great experience for our clients. Well, thank you. And, and by the way, it's, the, the the trust that you have in us and and with Kira and Kira that really um, it's it really boils down to the heart of what we do and that's really what excites us. Uh, so what is have ha, what has having Kira and Kira at the end of the day enabled Achieve Unite to do, or you two as individuals? Well, I think it's enabled. You know, when I look at Jessica and I look at. Fiona and, and myself now as well, I think it's enabled us to be more productive because they are doing the work that they need to be doing. Um, and the curas are, are really doing some of the more detailed um, tactical transactional work, which is really important in organization. Um, the other thing I think it's enabled us to do is it's enabled us to build some bridges and connect some dots that I don't know that we used to connect 
because we have a solid foundation of the house now. Um, and so I think that's been also really valuable. Yeah, I would agree. They're, they're the, the foundation and the backbone of some of our critical processes. Mm -hmm. And when you, when you have somebody that you know that is capable and is going to be returning that quality experience to you and to your clients, that's also really important. Um, you have faith in them and trust in them that it's going to happen. And then uh, you know it's going to happen and you can go on to the next thing. And they're both of them are excellent with like daily reports and things like that so that we know what is what has been going on in their day so there's full transparency and excellent communication between all of us so there's never yeah so there's never any question about um you know what they're working on or what they have or haven't done because it's all it's all there and communicated with you every day yeah awesome thanks thank you so much for 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 sharing that um let's uh switch gears a little bit what do each of you like to do when you're not working I work too much, so I don't do a lot outside of that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I love to spend time with my boys and my hubby. We have a river house in King George, Virginia. It's my happy place. And so I love to do that. And um, I love to read and study all the geeky stuff around partnering. I would say I spend a fair amount of my time um, with my family as well. You know, I have a husband and a son who's very active in a few organizations. I'm also volunteering in my community. But if I am not doing anything and it's purely pleasure, then I'm all about the Star Wars. <laughs> so that's, um, yeah. that's my big yeah, thing. Yeah, I had to bring Star Wars <laughs> into this. Really? Uh, we, be, yeah. before, before we started rolling, Jessica had some of her Star Wars uh, backgrounds. You, Jessica, it's while I'm closing up, you feel feel free to throw them back up there. If, if, if you oh, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Teresa, Jessica, thank you so much for this. Where can people find out more about you and Achieve Unite? You can go to AchieveUnite.com and please sign up to get our weekly. We do not spam. We send really incredible thought leadership on a weekly basis. You can join yeah. our LinkedIn. Thank you. Um, our LinkedIn, Achieve Unite LinkedIn. You can connect with Jessica or me on um, LinkedIn or Jessica or Teresa at AchieveUnite.com for email. You got it. Awesome. Uh, Teresa, Jessica, thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend uh, time with me and the Work Better Now community. We really appreciate it. And thank you for the kind words about uh, Kira and Kira, that there's nothing that makes us happier than uh, than, than BAs that are killing it and have doing meaningful work and really making an impact on, uh, on the, our clients. Yes. Thank, thank you, Rob. Thanks. Thanks.